so let us talk about firewall what is firewall we'll see the introduction what is firewall its applications software firewall and hardware firewall and some history of firewall and the design goals for firewall then we'll see the types basic concepts of firewall the role of firewall the advantages disadvantages and then the conclusion so introduction the internet has made large amount of information available to the average computer user at home in business and education so everyone is having internet every work is happening or taking place on internet so for many people having access to this information is no longer just an advantage it is essential now internet is just not a luxury it is a necessity so security of network is the main criteria here and pro firewall provide security because what is essential is been seen by somebody who can miss uh, you know misconduct it or use it in a in a way manner which you don't decide or which you won't want so firewalls actually provides security and firewall is nothing but simply a program or a hardware that filters the information coming through the internet connection into your private network or a computer system so firewall is like a you know safety guard or a guard which is standing between you and between you and your internet what is an application firewall this application firewall is a specific or a special firewall that is specifically specifically coded for the traffic it is inspecting means it is specifically inspecting those traffic which is intended not all the most uh, widely developed application firewall is the web application firewall now the difference between host based firewall and network based firewall what is host based based uh, firewall this is installed on an individual com computers individual system to protect it from activity occurring on its network so we are talking about a network while the network based firewall is implemented at a specific point in the network path not on the individual computer and protects all computer on the internal side of the firewall from all other computers on the external side of the firewall right it is placed at certain point you know one side of that point are internal systems other side of the firewall the external system then what are hardware firewalls and software firewalls hardware firewalls are integrated into the router in router hardware itself that sits between computer and the internet and the software firewalls are installed on individual servers not on the routers but individual servers so they intercept each connection request and they determine whether the request is valid or not and if we go back to history this firewall technology finally began to emerge in the 1980s and internal uh, internet was still of uh, at its infancy stage and new technology in terms of its global usage and connectivity in 1988 an employee at the nasa ames research center in california sent a memo by email to his colleagues that read we are currently under attack from internet virus so the first paper published on firewall technology was in 1988 when jeff mogul from digital equipment corporation dec developed filter systems known as packet filter firewalls so the largest internet security companies in the world released the product to the public in 1997 so what are the design goals for a firewall the first design goal for a firewall is that collectively the sum of all the network traffic from internal to external must go through some check must go through the firewall physically cutting off all access to the local network except via the firewall right 
it should go it should be inspected for any other thing which is not acceptable so the second design goal would be only authorized traffic which is intended which is delineated by the local security policy will be allowed to proceed if you don't want something you don't want it in your email you can see that some mails comes to you some goes to spam so that you know distributing of which which should be shown to you and which are to be sent to the spam is what the firewall uh, you know basic firewall work is i'm not saying firewall what does that but this is how the basic idea and the last design goal is that the firewall itself is resistant to penetration inclusive is a you know is a solid trustworthy system with a protecting operating system because firewall in itself is resisting the penetration so this is a solid trustworthy system for protecting uh, you know systems uh, because it it has its own uh, peculiar capabilities these are the types of firewalls these are packet filtering router you have a internet these are packet filtering routers and this is a private network this is the first type of firewall so this packet filtering router it applies a set of rules to each incoming packet and then forwards or discards depending upon these set of rules so filter packets are going in both direction inside out and out out inside the packet filter is typically set up as a list of rule based these are the rules which matches to the field in the ip or tcp header so there are two default policies one to discard or other is to forward then we have application level gateway this is the outside host this is the inside host we have application level gateway which has telnet ftp smtp http this is the outside connection this is the inside connection this application level gateway are also called as proxy server they are also called as proxy server and this act as a relay of application level traffic right this is also called as a proxy server and to the inside host and outside host this is a kind of application level gateway and its work is to relay application level traffic then we have circuit level gateway so you can see a sort of circuit here that's why it is called a, a circuit circuit level gateway then in this uh, gateway you have a standalone system or a specialized function performed by an application level gateway so it sets up two tcp connection the day gateway typically relays tcp segments from one connection to other without examining the cons uh, contents and the security function consists of determining which connection will be allowed okay so this is uh, a sort of circuit which has been made so what are the basic concepts of a firewall we have a source we have a destination we have source service and then some action so the role of firewall is the firewall is a term that is actually a barrier between a network machine and users that operate under a common security policy and generally trust each other and not the outside world so there are two basic reasons for using firewall at present to save money in concentrating your security on a small number of components you cannot have security everywhere so just put a firewall and to simplify the architecture of the system by restricting access only at the gates only to the machine that trust each other the advantages of firewall the concentration of security all modified software and logging is located on the firewall system as opposed to being distributed on many hosts so this is how it helps you know all security uh, you know uh, software and logging in logging out is in the firewall the protocol filtering uh, where the firewall filters protocols and services that are either not necessary or that cannot be adequately secured from the exploitation so protocol filtering is the advantage the information hiding is an information what in which a firewall can hide names of internal systems or electronic mail addresses thereby revealing less information to the outside host outside host cannot get the uh, idea or information about what is going inside this is also an important task of firewall then application gateways where the firewall requires inside or outside users to connect 
first to the firewall before connecting further thereby filtering the protocol so you have to go to you know um, if you are taking leave and you don't have your boss you can not you will not come to the office so if your boss is there you will report him i am going and then when you come you report him i have come this is what the task of firewall is but there are disadvantages also the most obvious disadvantage is that certain types of network access may be hampered or even the even block for some host including your telnet ftp x windows nfs and is nis to name a few the most these are the these are him, important type of network accesses so it may be blocked and the second disadvantage with firewall system is that it concentrates security in one spot as opposed to distributing it on other uh, among the system thus if firewall is compromised this could be this could be disastrous this could be uh, you know this cannot be taken well because to other less protected system on the sub subnet right this will be a catastrophe so the big things about a firewall from a security standpoint is that it stops anyone on the outside from logging onto a computer in your private network while this is a big deal for the business most home networks will probably not be threatened in this manner self putting a firewall in place providing some peace of mind and you know firewall is not not a choice but now it is essential thank you so much take care